Hi, I'm Emily Walsh, and we're here today at the Creighton University College of Business. Uh, we're interviewing Dr. John Deskins today, who's a professor of economics here, and we're going to be discussing independence and the Federal Reserve. Would you provide some background information about the Federal Res Reserve and discuss how it's independent from the rest of the government? Well, the Federal Reserve is the nation's central bank, and it's a quasi-governmental body. It's kind of related to the government, to the rest of government, but really is independent in many ways. Uh, for one, the Federal Reserve banks are owned by uh, member banks, by various commercial banks across the country. More importantly, though, the Board of Governors, the members of the Board of Governors, are appointed by the President and confirmed by the Senate. So they're tied to government in some ways. But beyond that, members of the Board of Governors serve 14-year non-renewable terms. They're very removed from government in that way. And uh, they're not dependent upon congressional appropriations for funding. Bottom line is the Fed has a lot of leeway. The Fed isn't dependent upon Congress. If Congress wants to change the way the Fed operates or if the Congress wants to uh, affect the Fed's behavior in some way, they, don't have, they have to completely rewrite the law. What are some concerns being raised about independence in the Fed? Well, some people are concerned about this central bank, this Federal Reserve independence. Uh, that's fundamentally motivated by the idea that the Fed has a lot of power and it's not tied to the rest of government. Uh, there are various proposals floating around and some of them are fairly simple. Like, for example, some proposals call for uh, the removal of consumer protection regulation from the Fed. And that's probably a pretty simple uh, legislation that, that, does, that won't have uh, the kind of an impact that I'm about to refer to. But more fundamentally, some people in Congress, especially Ron Paul, he's one of the most vocal uh, proponents here, he wants to pr uh, promote legislation that will greatly restrict the Fed's independence. I'm not talking about just removing small things like consumer, consumer protectionism. He wants to greatly restrict the Fed's independence and align it much more closely with the Congress and the executive. So why does Federal Reserve independence make sense? Well, with the Federal Reserve, they conduct monetary policy. They manipulate the quantity of money in their system to affect short-term interest rates, and that in turn affects uh, larger macroeconomic outcomes, both in the short run and in the long run. But the Fed's number one job is to promote price stability. We need smooth and stable uh, prices over the long run. That's the Fed's number one job, job, and that's widely agreed upon by economists. The Fed, however, also has other goals, for example, to promote short-term employment growth. Uh, those goals can oftentimes work together, but sometimes the goals can come into conflict. And when they do come into conflict, the Fed has to prioritize long-term price stability. But the real problem is that people in Congress naturally have a more short-run orientation. That's where their incentives lie. That's their focus. The Fed needs to be removed from, from the Congress. The Fed needs to be independent so it can have a more longer-term focus. Uh, the bottom line is that if central bank independence isn't maintained, monetary policy is going to have an inflationary bias in the long run. We're going to have higher inflation, more instability, and a worse economy in the long run. This isn't just my opinion. This is, wide, this is a view that's widely held by economists, and there's a great deal of empirical evidence from the world to evidence that more independent central banks lead to more price stability in the long run. Bottom line with me is that I would strongly caution any major legislation um, that would restrict the central bank's independence. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Well, thanks for watching. And if you have any questions or comments, feel free to visit our blog, follow us on Twitter, or start up a conversation on Facebook.